Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, today we are going to start chapter number 14, Sound. This whole chapter is about types of sound, measuring sounds, mediums through which sound travels, and the human ear. Sounds are present everywhere, everywhere and all around us. Some sounds are enjoyable while some are disturbing and some are warning sounds. Sound is produced by movements or vibrations. The vibrations of some objects set the air waves traveling away from them in all directions. These waves are just layers of air being pushed and pulled by the sounds. Sounds can be loud or soft and very high or low. The more energy in the vibrations of the sound, the louder is the sound we hear. Loud sounds become softer when we move away from them. A substance through which sound can travel is called a sound medium. It can travel through air, water, and some solid materials. Sound can travel faster through solids than air. It depends on how easily a substance vibrates. Sound vibrations cannot pass through a completely empty space. On the moon, there is no air. You could talk to people right next to you and they would, they would not be able to hear you. When we want to send messages to someone in space, we have to change sound vibrations to electrical or radio signals. Sound can be measured by counting the vibrations made in a second. We measure the vibration with units called hertz. Low sounds are produced when there, there are fewer vibrations per second. Generally, human being can hear sounds ranging between 20 hertz and 16,000 hertz per second. This table shows how much vibrations are set in motion by different living things in a single second. Grasshopper can hear 12,000 hertz per second. Dog